People are really calling out Aaron Rodgers for this, and I'm not necessarily surprised. We made a video on this a few weeks ago, and to be honest, I feel like that he's making the right decision here. And I know that might be an unpopular opinion, so before we get to the content, make sure you drop like, subscribe, and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. If you join the channel memberships program, you might start getting some of my content a little earlier thanks to a brand new feature that YouTube implemented recently. I'm no longer gonna private video when they need to be scheduled. I'm just gonna have them get pushed out to members while we wait for them to go live. And now that we get all of that out of the way, break! We made $1,100 off of a $20 entry on prize picks. And it wasn't just me, it was everyone that followed these picks on my Instagram story. And the best feeling is the amount of people that made money as a result of this. I mean, bam, bam, bam. Bam! My DMs were flooded, so the best part for me was seeing you guys make money as well. But we're not done yet. PrizePix has a promo for a free square. All Kevin Durant needs is to score one point on Christmas Day, which means we only need to get one pick correctly in order to make some more money. If you haven't signed up for PrizePix, use my promo code MICROPHONE to double your deposit up until $100 on PrizePix. And I give away my picks on a daily basis for free on my Instagram story and now my Snapchat story. We're having so much fun doing this. I'm so happy that I made you guys some money and thank you prize mix for the sponsor mic check one two one two what's going on everybody it seems like since the dawn of time the New York Jets have always been in search of a quarterback I cannot think of a single time where I was a football fan where the New York Jets have had a dominant QB and they've always been very freaking aggressive whether it was trading up for Mark Sanchez in the 2009 NFL draft trading up for Sam Darnold in the 2018 NFL draft failing to tank for Trevor Lawrence properly and settling for Zach Wilson in the 2021 NFL draft or more recently when they probably made their best trade for a quarterback to date swapping first round picks and giving up a 2023 second round pick and a sixth round pick and a conditional 2024 second round pick that becomes a first round pick if Aaron Rodgers plays in 65% of the plays this season and this trade was very funny to me because the fact that these picks were swapped in the first round resulted in the New England Patriots allowing the Pittsburgh Steelers to trade up to select Broderick Jones, the offensive tackle that the Jets desperately needed. And I don't want to say a direct result of this was Aaron Rodgers getting sacked on the third play of his New York Jets career and tearing his Achilles. But at the end of the day, this trade kind of worked out for the Jets while it also didn't. At least they protected themselves. The entire storyline of this season became a about Aaron Rodgers making this heroic comeback, returning from an Achilles tear faster than anyone has ever seen before. Each and every New York Jets game featured Aaron Rodgers throwing a football very quickly after his injury. Aaron Rodgers not needing a cast anymore. Aaron Rodgers putting weight on his Achilles tear. Aaron Rodgers saying that he is trying to come back this year. And immediately, Zach Wilson's nightmare season continued once again, paired with an offensive coordinator that didn't really know how to put Zach Wilson in good positions to succeed behind a nightmare offensive line, Zach Wilson was thrust into an impossible situation once again. And I kind of feel for the kid because this was supposed to be his red shirt season where he sat behind Aaron Rodgers and tried to learn from him as much as he possibly can while he worked on the nuances of his game. But I will say in the case of Zach Wilson, he did prove to the entire world that he's not as terrible of a quarterback as Tim Boyle. And I guess in that regard, this is a huge victory. Through it all, the storyline has always been try to win as many games as you can to allow Aaron Rodgers to come back right in time for the playoffs. And then magically, the New York Jets are going to start winning games because when Aaron Rodgers is under center, it's fair to assume that the New York Jets are a super team that's going to win each and every game. The plan was flawed from the start, but it was a captivating storyline that we enjoyed following on this channel. I mean, do you guys remember when Aaron Rodgers appeared on the Pat McAfee show and gave this most motivational speech 
about how he was about to do something that nobody's ever seen before. Yes. Give me the notes. Give me the, uh, the timetables. Give me all the things that you think can, should, or will happen. Because all I need is that one little extra percent of inspiration. That's all I need. So give me your timetables. Give me your doubts. Give me your prognostications. And then watch what I do. Hell yeah. yeah. Let's go. One month later, Aaron Rodgers would be shown walking without crutches and throwing passes around week six when the New York Jets were able to beat the Philadelphia Eagles. His head coach, Robert Sala, was the biggest believer in Aaron Rodgers' mission, hyping him up even more. The more you doubt him, the more fuel he has. He's a man on a mission. Rodgers would mention that he's ahead of schedule in his recovery, but he still has a long way to go. But two weeks later, we would see Aaron Rodgers showing some football like movements while throwing passes before the New York Jets beat the New York Giants. And then in the beginning of November, he would once again say that he is more than a few weeks away from being able to return. But he also mentioned something that is very important. And this is something that I believe makes a lot of sense. He mentions that the New York Jets need to be in the playoff picture in order for him to return, which is something that I think is more than fair to ask from a guy that is 40 years old and is returning from the most gruesome injury in sports. He said that his plan was to target a mid-December return. Where are you coming back? but also said that he wanted to return on a full-time basis by thanksgiving which brings us to what goes down in the end of november you see aaron Rodgers would get cleared for functional football activity on november 29th 2023 do you remember how much people were blowing this out of proportion oh my god aaron Rodgers can come back maybe the jets could start winning games maybe they can make it into the playoffs but alas Aaron Rodgers wasn't playing in games because, well, Aaron Rodgers wasn't cleared to play in games. Now, there are two things that were going on here. Either Aaron Rodgers wasn't about to return from the most gruesome injury in all of sports in less than three months, or Aaron Rodgers actually recovered and didn't see a reason to push it any further, considering the fact that the Jets didn't really have any hope. But that didn't stop Aaron Rodgers from doing the most Aaron Rodgers thing possible, consistently having footage of him throwing the football make its way onto social media, which by the way, in of itself at his age is a remarkable achievement. Now, I said in the very beginning that if Aaron Rodgers came back to this New York Jets team, they were doomed. There's no question about it. I feel like if Aaron Rodgers came back a month ago or a month and a half ago on one leg and tried to heroically lead the New York Jets to a Super Bowl, it wouldn't work. This is Aaron Rodgers on a brand new football team with brand new pieces behind a patch work offensive line it just would not work the man got injured within three snaps behind this offensive line the new york jets clearly have a huge problem and there is a solution for them but of course once aaron Rodgers went on the pat mcafee show and said this people really started to roast him i'm still you know 14 weeks uh, tomorrow from my surgery and you know being medically cleared as 100 percent uh, healed is just uh, not realistic at 14 weeks so people had a field day with this one clip. I mean, the memes were glorious. Albert Breer quoted this saying, if I was 100% today, I'd definitely be pushing to play. But the fact is I'm not. I've been working hard to get closer. I'm still 14 weeks tomorrow from my surgery and being medically cleared as 100% healed is not realistic at 14 weeks. The response to this was, so this was all for attention. And someone quote tweeted this saying, guy who just found out about Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has said point blank that he likes attention attention. It's nothing new. I mean, this is a man that spent two and a half years trying to decide what his next team was going to be while still playing for the Green Bay Packers. This is a man that consistently reminded us that he might not return to the Green Bay Packers for the past two and a half years. I mean, a franchise literally hired Nathaniel Hackett as their head coach in an attempt to lure over Aaron Rodgers after making a run after him for two years before he finally pivoted and chose the New York Jets this past season. But the reason why 
why people are roasting Aaron Rodgers for this is because the whole season was Aaron Rodgers saying that he's gonna make a comeback. I mean, to give you an idea, look at some of these headlines. The Jets will give Aaron Rodgers the green light to return. Remember when Robert Sala said this? Aaron's a big boy, grown man. And uh, uh, no one's gonna know Aaron's body like Aaron knows his body. And if he feels, after all the doctors clear him, and I'm sure there's a million of them, I have no idea on that stuff. But if, if Aaron says he wants to play, he's gonna play. I mean, two weeks ago, he said this. Um, it's been a wild ride and I look forward to uh, taking back the reins pretty soon. And if you just look at some of these headlines, Aaron Rodgers says he contemplated retirement immediately after tearing his Achilles, which is kind of a 180 from him trying to do something that no one else has ever had. But the thing that's the most confusing about this is very shortly after Aaron Rodgers said that he is done for the season, the New York Jets also announced that they were activating him. I mean, Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers to be activated off of injured reserve coach robert sala says he will be added to the active roster to keep practicing as part of his rehab process but will not play this season one explanation being i really thought i could come back this season be honest i would totally come back if i was 100 be honest i love attention thank you which is from the david beckham documentary and i highly recommend you guys watch it but i think what really happened and this is just taking the meme aspect out of this is this meme and that's aaron Rodgers at four and three versus aaron Rodgers at five and nine at four and three i will be there no matter what and at five and nine damn that's crazy good luck though and i think that's really it i said this in my last video there's no point in coming back the jets have a 0.1 percent chance of making it into the playoffs. Even if you make it into the playoffs, which by the way, it seems like the playing field is a little bit more level this year, considering how the Bengals are with a backup QB that is crushing it, by the way. The Bills are starting to surge up a little bit, but they have less than a 50% chance for making it into the playoffs, at least as of now. The Kansas City Chiefs aren't as dominant as they used to be, but the chances of the Jets making it in to begin with are very slim to none. So if that's the case, why not take advantage of the fact that you protected yourselves very well? The New York Jets have a pretty good chance at finishing with a top five pick in the NFL draft. If the NFL ended today, they would have the number seven overall pick in the NFL draft. If they bottom out, this pick could go as high as number four. When you consider the fact that this year's draft is really shaping up to be deep with Drake May recently declaring and Caleb Williams being going overhyped the way he is and then Jaden Daniels recently won the Heisman and he's declaring for the NFL draft and then you have Marvin Harrison Jr. who I believe is going to enter the NFL draft and then you have Ali Fashanu who could be the difference maker that the Jets need at the tackle position or let's say you don't want to draft any of those players and you want to trade a high pick in a draft that has some exciting QB talent that's going in the top 10 to a team that'll pay a significant amount of assets in order to move into the top five. At this point, the Jets should try to be losing as many games as humanly possible. And to be honest, this could make or break the Aaron Rodgers era as a result of this. Robert Sala says that he's hoping that Rodgers plays for the next five years. We wanna win a championship. We believe we can win a championship. And uh, I know he said two years, but in a perfect situation, we win a championship next year and he walks off in the sunlight, you know, but uh, it's a whole nother discussion for the off seasons. No, but but you get the point. I, he's, I think he's gonna play until his wheels fall off. I don't think it's one, two. I think he'll go three, four, five if he can. That's just my opinion, so. Which I think anything can happen at this point. If Aaron Rodgers is on a contending team for the next three years, I don't think he's just gonna magically disappear if he has an opportunity to win more Super Bowls, especially given the fact that he took a year off this year, he pretty much got an idea of what life without football would be like. So at the end of the day, I do applaud Aaron Rodgers for the effort. I don't think he did this 100% for attention. I feel like it was kind of for the attention, but he actually wanted to make history until it made sense for him to make history. And once it didn't make sense anymore, once there was too much risk for too little reward, he decided to back out, which is what he should have done. There's no reason to rush back from an Achilles tear when there's no upside for you at this point.
And in the case of Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets, there's no upside in winning games or rushing him back from injury. So let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about Aaron Rodgers' decision? If you're a Jets fan, are you disappointed? Do you think this was his plan the whole time? Or do you think he actually had good intentions to begin with? I'd like to hear what you have to say. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.